Hey, hey, Waffle Gang, I do hope you are well. My name is Mark, and today we're checking out some r slash amount of butthole. <laughs> and if you love a Reddit story, why not consider hitting that like, subscribe, maybe that notification bell too, or really helps out the channel. And let's crack on with today's first story. Now, today's first story was suggested over on Twitter from Aurora Okami. Apologies if I pronounce that wrong in any way. Who says, I have a suggestion for the next Am I the Arsehole story. I just found this spicy one today. Updates. Well, I hate explaining the aftermath and all. And it's from Made Her Repay the Dress saying, Am I the Arsehole for ruining my kid's life after she ruined a dress? X31 and I, male 32. Had C, female 16, way too young. We're friendly co-parents. One big rule we share is if our daughter breaks something, she pays for it. Now, sis, 27, and I are the only grandkids. Aunt never married. Instead, she worked with grandma and grandpa at their seamstress store and took it over when they retired. Sis's girlfriend, 29, proposed last year. Grandpa offered to make future sister-in-law a custom suit, which she was over the moon about. Grandma had me ask sis what her dream dress was and record the convo. Sis, thinking it was just between us, told me in great detail what her dream dress was, though said it was way too expensive, so she would get something much cheaper. Well, a few months later, Grandma surprised Sis with her dream wedding dress. It fit perfectly and everyone cried. Sadly, Grandma recently passed away, which hit us all hard. She was devastated, but decided that the dress meant Grandma would still be there with us at the wedding. The issue comes in with C. She's very large, much larger than Sis. Three days ago, we decided to go visit Sis and see how she was doing. It was great, but then C asked if she could try on the dress. Sis politely said no. C made a face but dropped it. Later, we decided to go grab dinner. Sis and I went to pick up our orders, but C decided to stay and play with Sis's dog. We got back and the dress was destroyed. C had apparently tried to get it on, popping some seams and got stuck. Instead of waiting for help, she cut her way out. The dress was hacked to bits. Sis was devastated and asked us to leave. I grounded C and called Aunt with some pictures, asking if it could be saved. She said there was no chance. She said she'd make a new one, but it wasn't the same. Then she dropped the bomb on me. Grandma had hand sewn most of the dress, used super expensive fabric and put almost 500 hours in making that dress since it was the only family wedding we'd have. In total, the dress cost $12,000, give or take. C has about $15,000 saved from various jobs, as well as winning writing competitions. This was supposed to help her in college. I took her to the bank and set in motion transferring all the funds, since as her parent, I still have control over it. 12 k to aunt to pay for the new dress, 3 k to my sister's wedding as an emotional distress tax. I explained exactly why this was happening to C, but she sobbed the entire time, asking what was she supposed to do for college and saying it wasn't her fault. I told her she could get a job if she didn't get a scholarship and it was her fault for trying on the dress after she had been told no and for not waiting until we got back. A few pop seams could have been fixed. Hacking the dress to pieces couldn't. C told my ex and while she agreed C was in the wrong after the full story, said I shouldn't have ruined her future for a free dress. I reminded her of our rule and she thinks I'm wrong. So am I the asshole here? And we have that edit slash updates in a moment, but we're gonna cover it after the comments in this one, I think. And the thing that I couldn't get over in this one is that it feels like there has to be more to this in this to me, because that's not a normal thing for someone to do, even at the age of 16. You've been told, no, you're not allowed to try it on. So that would be enough for most people, surely. So for when everyone goes out to try and get yourself into the dress and get stuck into it, and then to cut it with scissors afterwards, even if it's panicking, to try initially get on that dress doesn't seem like normal behavior to me and it just feels like there is something more. I don't know though, obviously. I'm just throwing thoughts out there. But fucking Bailey says not the arsehole, absolutely not. She ruined her own future. In my mind, that dress wasn't 12 or even $15,000. It was priceless. It could have and should have been passed down for generations. I'm horrified your daughter did such a thing. Most kids don't go to college with savings, so she's just going to have to tough it out. 
Hope she looks back one day and realizes the payment she made was severely short. I'm so sorry this happened to your family. Whiskey says not the asshole. At 16, you're old enough to know that there are consequences for doing things you've been told not to do. I applaud you for making C pay for the dress and emotional stress. Goldust Girlboss says, I'm so confused by why your daughter's first response to getting stuck in the dress was to hack it up with scissors. That's a crazy response. I was sure she didn't ruin the dress on purpose. You think having a great grandmother that's such a talented seamstress, she would know cutting the dress would ruin it. Panda Bloop says, not the asshole, your daughter is old enough to know what she did was wrong. I think you were right to give your sister the 12K for the dress. Your daughter can continue to work as she has time left before college and she can also apply to scholarships, get loans or work while in college. I disagree with you giving your sister 3K from your kid's account though. I think you should give the 3K back to your daughter and tell your sister the 3K is from you. Did your daughter know the significance of the dress? I am also very close to my grandma and if I was in your sister's shoes, it would take me a very long time to forgive your daughter. And one more from Kiki3838 who says, I'm going to respectfully disagree with the majority of respondents. You're the asshole. First, let me sympathize with the loss of your grandmother. My Nana was gone before my wedding, which we kept putting off and it was sad not to have her there. I incorporated as much of her own wedding to my grandfather as possible to make sure she was there with us all. Now my reasoning for selecting you're the asshole. Using 12K to buy a new dress is absurd. I am sorry, I want to believe a seamstress could have incorporated the material into a new dress versus spending 12K on something that will ultimately have zero sentimental value. Maybe if the fabric couldn't have been used in a new dress, it likely could have been creatively used to honor your grandmother. Also, why spend 12K on a dress for one day? Furthermore, making your daughter pay 3K for pain and suffering seems insane to me. How about making her write an apology letter, clean her aunt's house for the foreseeable future, or make her work towards her penance? Handing over cash isn't the right solution in my opinion. Finally, you've only taught a lesson that throwing money at a problem is the solution. There should have been a more thoughtful response than dumping your daughter's money at the problem. So updates. Since people are mentioning they don't understand the 3K, that was to make up to my sister that C destroyed the last gift our dead grandma ever gave her. I consider that part of the price of destroying the dress, since even if aunt remakes it, it's lost a great deal of sentimental value. I pointed out how young we were because I wanted to explain how a 31 year old has a 16 year old kid. I do not resent having her, she's the best thing I've ever done. I also brought up C's size because sis has Crohn's disease and thus is very tiny. The dress was made for her size and C is much larger than sis. I love C as she is, but just holding the dress up, it was clear it wouldn't fit. The character count is very limiting. Edit two, to clarify, the money was C's have fun at college money, not a college fund. My ex and I are paying for whatever scholarships don't. When she was asking what she would do for college, she was asking what she'd do for fun to buy things we didn't pay for. Again, the character count is very limiting, so I had to cut the details to post. Edit three, so I got off the phone with my ex about 20 minutes ago. At some of your suggestions, I sent her pictures and she freaked. She apparently didn't believe me when I said it had been hacked apart and believe it was just a few torn seams. She was pretty much on my side after. She told me that she spent the day badgering our daughter, asking her why she did what she did and finally C cracked and said she was mad that grandma wasn't alive to make her a dress and that it was unfair my sister got a free beautiful dress as a reminder when my daughter got nothing, despite the many things she was given after the funeral. She tried it on, took it off when the seams popped and then in anger, hacked it apart. If she couldn't have a dress from grandma, no one could, her own words. Honestly, knowing she did this on purpose has just made things worse. The fact that she could be so cruel. That's not the daughter we tried to raise. She will be going to therapy, whether that's in person when local therapists start taking new clients again or on one of those apps people have mentioned. We need to talk about it more. Her punishment stands as is, though we're going to see how therapy goes. As for all the seamsters who reached out, please know I am touched by your kindness. I really am. My aunt is going to see if she can incorporate at least some of the fabric from the old dress into the new one. Maybe at least try to save the beading. But if there's any usable, I'll reach out. I so, so appreciate all of your offers. You're incredibly kind. I have yet to talk to my sister, but I have talked to her fiance. 
Sis isn't doing well. The stress has caused a Crohn's flare up, so she's stuck in bed sick, which honestly, I'm not surprised. Crohn's is often triggered by stressful events, so I was expecting it. I told fiance about aunt making a new dress and she promised to take the remains over to aunt on Monday. She's thankful for us addressing the issue, but has asked for some space from sis so she can recover and heal and hopefully not end up in the hospital. As for the 3K, we'll see what my sister's state is in a few days. If she has to go to hospital, then the money is forfeit for her medical bills since it was C's selfishness that put her there. So she can pay for it. If sis does not end up in hospital, then I consider giving it back after she's gone to therapy for a few months. If she's accepted what she did was wrong and worked to make amends. We'll see what the next few months bring. And as sad as the update is, it didn't really come to as a surprise to me in the end. I was kind of expecting something else to be there rather than, you know, she just got in the dress and that was it. It always felt like there was some information that was missing from that original post that why would someone try to get themselves into someone's wedding dress after being told no, it just doesn't make sense. And whilst there was a lot of people saying, you know, absolutely not the asshole, that's what OP deserved in the original post, there was an equal amount, I would say, saying, you know, the punishment doesn't fit the crime in this one kind of thing, especially about the additional 3K. What would you say if you just read the original post and what would your conclusion to that be? I know it all changed after the update, but let me know your thoughts both ways if you can. And we'll move on to another story. And our next story was another one from Northern Crusader who said, found the story you might find interesting. I know it's a year old, but at least man, just the update alone made me think you would like reading it to folk. And I gotta say, I haven't read this one as yet, so of course we will cover it. And if you find those stories with updates, you know where I am. And this one is from Stuffed Tigger who says, am I the asshole for potentially ruining the family business? I am one of three siblings. My brother is 35 and my sister is 36. This also happened in the space of a few months. I, 32 male, was the only sibling working at my father's store for around eight years. I made less money there than I would usually, but accepted it as I desperately needed the money. Due to the global issue, my father wrote his will, where he dedicated all his assets to my oldest brother, with the excuse that he is the oldest. My brother has never helped my father and never will. He refused to give him a kidney. I know he had a right to refuse, and it resulted in me having to move back and undergo the surgery. My brother is also selfish, mooches off of anyone, and has an outstanding criminal record. I got angry, seriously angry. I quit the job right then and there. My whole family proceeded to blow up my phone, begging me to come back. This is because I was the only worker there and hiring someone else during this pandemic would be difficult as my father is at risk due to his age. I then checked my savings account. I'd saved around $20,000 from when I was 15, doing side jobs and whatnot. I bought some space on a busy street where I knew I'd get traffic and lots of customers. I hired some people to make some banners, bought furniture and all the equipment I needed. I ended up taking out a mortgage, but I don't regret it. I basically perfected this place and when it opened, I was flooded. This town is and was particularly small, so word got around fast and soon enough, my father's business ended up getting less customers and more people preferred the food from my store. I received dozens of calls, texts and emails begging me to close it down and come back and be their slave. I didn't reply to a single one and, and put out job applications as there were too many people to handle on my own. The irony is my brother had the audacity to apply for a job. I wrote up the application beforehand I showed to my father. He was sad, begged me to come back and I refused. All throughout these events, my wife, 32 female, and closest friends have called me an asshole. some of which have even cut contact and told me I was selfish. I originally didn't care, but I've been doubting myself when my five-year-old son confronted me asking me why I hate his grandfather. So Reddit, am I the asshole? And as I said, we do have an update to this post as well, but absolutely not the asshole to me. How could you be the asshole from the way you've been treated in this? And some of the points in this post as well, you know, you said your brother refused to give him a kidney and absolutely, like you said as well, he has a right to refuse that. <laughs> not entitled to kidneys willy nilly here. 
but you've been working for your father all this time, you gave him a kidney, and then you're still not even considered for inheritance. And again, no one's in entitled to inheritance, but the father's excuse of, you know, this son's the oldest, so he gets all the inheritance. Sod all my other kids. You know, they can do what they want with their lives. <laughs> it just makes no sense. What kind of logic is that? And to anyone who cut you off, good riddance to them, because do you really want people like that in your life, thinking about you in that way? Absolutely not. I think you did the right thing for yourself, and, and I think that's a wonderful thing. But I will be curious to know what happens with this update. But we're going to cover some comments as well, because there's some additional info from OP as well. Kerastasis says, only the oldest gets an inheritance. You two younger kids will need to make your own path in life. All right, I'll go do that. Wait, no, I didn't think you'd actually leave. Not the arsehole. To which OP replies, the peak of irony. Thing is, my brother now feels entitled to some of the store, claiming that since he's the oldest, he should be in charge. Illustrious Band 537 says, not the arsehole, you gave your father a kidney and you work for practically nothing and he's given all his assets to the brother who did nothing. How are you the arsehole here? OP replies him, my father is a chain smoker and an alcoholic. He's wearing down the kidney also. And on the other hand, my brother being the golden child, he wouldn't accept his kidney, even if he made the decision to offer it. Carlo Carlo says, not the asshole, do not weaken and explain to your wife and ex-friends that you were the sole worker there. You sacrificed so much and were treated so disrespectfully. I presume older brother is the golden child. Do what you have to to support yourself and your family and find out why your child is saying that. Has someone been putting ideas into his head? Who? Straighten that out, in my opinion. OP replies saying he is the golden child and always has been. Even when I was six, I won a school writing competition and he cried. My parents ripped the certificate off, off of my wall, put his name on it and framed it on his shelf. Ever since I can remember, he's being catered for and put first. And one more from Bites Me 75 who says, not the arsehole, you were the only sibling working at the family business and you were doing so for less than the prevailing wage. It's ridiculous to will the business to your brother just because he's the oldest. He'll probably run it into the ground after he inherits it anyway. OP says he's already started to run it down. He's acting as if it's already his and pawning the furniture like the TV menu and renting out the upstairs apartment to his friends. So now we're gonna move on to that update to see what it says. Before meeting with my wife, I arranged a meeting with my father. He begged me to come back and tried to bribe me with more pay, but I declined. I told him while I was done with the family business, I would still love him. He told me that he would change the world to give me 30% of the store, not even a half. I met with my wife an hour ago. She sat me down and started sobbing, saying she made a mistake and begged me for forgiveness. I've read enough Reddit stories to know she cheated. She has been cheating on me with my brother for six years. I'm confused, angry, frustrated, and exhausted. The kid I love and dedicate my life to might not be mine. I started shouting, calling her vile and other nasty things. When she got angry and told me that I was nothing but a paycheck to her, she started describing every encounter they had, detailing how he made her drool. I'm disgusted. I've loved this woman for 10 years. She was the one who backed me up when I was close to offing myself. And now she destroys our relationship. She had been taking our son to his house and leaving him to play with my brother's PS4 while they fucked upstairs. My son had accidentally made a purchase and got really scared so he ran up to his bedroom and saw them under the sheets. My wife obviously panicked and told him that I was abusing her and his grandfather and by doing this she was getting money and could get them a safe way out. My kid being the angel he is ate this up. I knew instantly that he was being more hostile, problematic, but my wife disregarded it as him struggling to adapt to online learning. I don't know what to do. Is my son mine? Do I forgive her and move on? Do I divorce? Would the store go to her? I'm confused, angry, and tired. I drove for two hours to the nearest city, and I'm currently staying in a motel typing this. Gee whiz, where did that update come from? That was not what I was expecting out of the update at all. It just seemed to take like a, a complete twist there and not a positive, happy update that I was expecting. Like I was hoping that OP had moved on with their lives. They're, 
Their business had done really well and they were thriving now. Not like their life got turned completely upside down. Wife is cheating with the brother who's an arsehole anyway, by the sounds of it. And OP potentially losing everything. And unfortunately, that was all I could find on that story. And I can only hope that in the end that they did find some peace in their life and was able to move on and, and their business did thrive. But what do you guys make of this story? How would you deal with it if you was in that situation? An absolute wild ending to it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Now, a huge thank you for spending 20 to 30 minutes with me today. Getting involved in the channel, your love, your support, your time means the absolute world. Thank you so much. And I will see you in the next one. Take care, guys. Much love.